Well, that's uh, Paula Abdul's latest, Blowing Kisses in the Wind, a dynamic dancer, singer, songwriter. She uh, has her latest album out now called Spellbound, which is an accurate description of how audiences react to this uh, performer, who has launched her first world tour. And what a story she's got behind Absolutely. this tour. Absolutely. Here she is, Miss Paula Abdul. <laughs> Dance steps. That's right, yes. You were just come off the L.A. Lakers as a head uh, dancer. Choreographer. Choreographer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I read about uh, your tour in the uh, New York Times. What an odyssey. A week and a half ago. <laughs> Ten months, a million dollars, and 100 headaches. This just said a million headaches. <laughs> yeah, right. Sounded and, like it. Sounded like you almost gave up along the way. Oh, it's, people don't know how hard it is to put a tour together, especially because... I'm involved from the very beginning of conceiving what I wanted to do and all the people involved, over 100 people that I carry on the road with me. But I knew at the end, the end result, it would all be worth it. And I'm having the time of my life. Are you really? Are you? Well, you see, when you're just a singer, then maybe you just come out and sing. But when you've got all these talents, then you've got to do everything, right? And that involves more people and more sets. And but you're a perfectionist. So you don't let anybody else do much, right? And actually, I was... I let a lot of people do a lot of share the responsibilities because it was overwhelming. Okay. Can I just read what uh, what it takes to put on a tour these days? Eleven tractor trailers and nine buses equipped with a dozen beds and a private bedroom for the star. Her companions would be eight dancers, nine musicians, two stilt walkers, a manager, a production manager, an accountant, a road manager, a video director, a house engineer, a monitor engineer, a lighting director. Various assistants, a publicist, a security chief. I mean, yeah. follow all these people on the payroll just to get this show on. We do have that at Club Benet. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup artists, a drum technician. It goes on to the next page. A, a guitar technician, two keyboard technicians, two stage managers, four wardrobe staffers, plus drivers and roadies. It's tiring. It's a lot of people. It's one people. thing to choose those people based on their expertise. Like when you're auditioning the dancers and the singers, it's obvious what their talent is. But how do you know that these are the, going to be the kind of people that you want to spend a year of your life with on the road? Well, it was interesting because I, I knew that in the back of my mind. So I interviewed everybody that was applying for a position on, on the tour. And it's really interesting because I'd ask questions that you know, as far as personalities getting along, because it is a long time, and especially with the musicians and the dancers, there are so many incredibly talented artists that mm -hmm. to get in, the, in a room and see how everyone's personalities gel together, yeah. was, that was really important to me. Well, now, this, uh, we just saw a little bit of uh, your video, right? Yes. The video version of Spellbound, is that blowing kisses in the wind? Yeah, that's the video. From the Spellbound. Now, what about Michael Jackson? Video. Did you have a chance to see enough. that? I haven't seen the whole entire video. I've caught bits and pieces. I feel so out of it because traveling from city to city, you know, and I turn on the TV here and there, but I haven't been able to catch it. He received things. a lot of criticism for his violence and his... Uh, and his sexuality. Yeah. A lot of grabbing himself and stuff like that. <laughs> Which but, I don't think he needed but to Mike, But that Michael does that. I mean, other artists, he's made, been made famous for some of those steps. And, I mean, I don't know. A lot of artists do have different trademarks. Mm. <laughs> so that's his trademark? <laughs> well, <laughs> but he recused no, it. He's, you know, he's, he's, oh, he, he cut it out. He yeah. cut four minutes from it because he says, I've always tried to be an excellent role model, and apparently really? people have taken it wrong, and, and he didn't want to be responsible for any any more problems in this world. Mm -hmm. I still think he's still one of the greatest performers. He's unbelievable. If you could dance with any performer. Michael. Michael. If you could sing with any singer. Stevie Wonder. Ah, good for you. Good choices, huh? Yeah. So you've been on the road for how long now? <laughs> just started. Didn't just started? Just, just, I'm going on a month right now. Three and a half weeks. So three and a half weeks, and you're going to stay out there for? Here. <laughs> and have you just bought your dream home, and now you're going to pack yeah. it, everything up? and I just bought, the, I found this home, and I was, I was looking for a house to buy. And it was the very first house I looked at. And I thought, this is ridiculous, Paul. You have to go out and look. And look. 
And I looked at about 50 other homes, and I kept coming back to this one home. You didn't want to go with your dad? I'm in love with it. Yeah. And it's empty. It has no furniture. Oh. <laughs> it's all alone by itself up there in the hill. Except I have my three pug dogs living in the house. Oh, in, in the house? Mm -hmm. You didn't take them with you? What kind of a mother are you? <laughs> And you're obviously too busy to have any kind of a personal life right now. Right, right now. It's difficult. It's really hard. You know, you're going to be gone for a year. There's no man under your spell? <laughs> no. <laughs> Regardless of what we've read, right? That's right. Yeah. And boy, if I live the life that I read in the papers, you know. really be something. Wouldn't it? Well, I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's really, this is really a remarkable story. I mean, you know, to start out the way you did with the Lakers and so on, and now to become a, a megastar in, in show business is an incredible story. It's, it's exciting. Do you sometimes yeah. pinch yourself? And, uh, All the time. Do you? All the time. I just don't... Sometimes, I mean, if it just makes sense, I, I um... When I see myself on the videos or I, or I read about, I think that that's another girl. You mm -hmm. know, I just... I. It's weird. I can't explain it, but it's, it's a very awkward feeling, but it's extremely exciting. It's everything I wanted to do. I didn't realize it was going to be this Quite hard <laughs> as far as the touring in. I understand the first time you went out uh, somewhere, I'm not quite sure, it was in this article, you had to literally be forced on stage. You were oh, so terrified. I went, I'm a poor tour manager. I dug my nails into into his hand. I wouldn't let go, and, he, and the band, my band was on stage. It was the first time ever in Milwaukee that I was ever performing. There were 25,000 people, and I was grabbing onto his hand. He goes, Paul, you have to go on stage now. <laughs> They're waiting for you. I, I can't, I can't I have to go to the bathroom one more time. I have to go to the bathroom. And he goes, then go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom. He goes, Paul, I come out of the bathroom. <laughs> and I came out of the bathroom, and I grabbed onto him again. He, I made oh. his skin bleed. I was uh, so This guy crazy. needs a raise. <laughs> no, you hired him for this time around again, right? Yeah, he's yeah. back. Yeah. 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 He's talented in getting you out of the ladies' room. Uh, <laughs> well, it's funny because it, it was a good luck thing. I had to go to the bathroom every time before I went on stage. And there was one night that I didn't have to go, and my band said, get back in that bathroom. <laughs> Don't get talking up. Yeah, you know? that's right. So anyway, you'll be uh, next month uh, going into Salt Lake City, and then, of course, the hometown, Los Angeles, hometown. right? I guess so you're very excited about that. Two, two, well, we've sold out two nights in L.A., and the third one's on sale. And by popular Three demand. nights in a row at the Forum, and I'm, that, that is like my home, because last time I was there, I was a Laker girl. Oh, that's right. That's going to be now an you incredible go night for you. Well, Paula, we're all pulling for you. I know it's going to be a great tour. Hang in there. Thank you so much. Keep going about that one. Paula Abdul. Back in L.A. next month. And we'll be back in a moment.